All right, so Dad, I have three mystery ingredients here. I want you to make a gourmet dish using all three. I'm down with it. Yeah, sure. I always love to go those kind of challenge. I hope you got some good surprise for me, son. So I'm thinking of making a series, and I started off pretty easy for you, I think. But I'm gonna make it harder for the next couple episodes. Open peanut butter. Yeah, I mean that's pretty standard in North American standard. Next one, mango. That's pretty standard for North Americans. It's uh, iconic even... for our our channel. Oh wow, yeah, that's a good one. But I this spent, one, six, this one is not like I spent six hundred dollars on these. One, two, three, two hundred each. Low. It means three hundred dollars a mango. No, that'll be nine hundred. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> no, these are just regular mangoes. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Come on, son. I'm not <laughs> born yesterday. It means three hundred dollars a mango. Chicken wings. You know what that means, right? Wing on, children. Gotta wing on. You know the wiggle. Wing on. So yeah. I feel like I went kind of easy on you. I gave you a protein. Well, no, no, okay. Fruit. Wait, 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 son. You know, easy things are simple and hard. Oh, well, well. Simple, easy thing is very hard to do, as you know. You know why? Gotta be perfect. So, three ingredients, what are you thinking? Well, you know, I, I think, you know, chicken wing, actually, it's a very, um, sort of like a lot of people think oh just chicken wings you know i can just fry it bake it roast it you know and bread it and what else steam it but you know what i'm gonna make something really kind of difficult for some of you guys i don't think you guys are going to make it there's so many different kinds of mango there are mangoes and fiber there's mango without fiber and there's mango is green crunchy and there is sort of like that sharp sour sweet mango but you know where is the best mango i ever taste i think when i was in the philippines what about mm. the mangoes in uh, japan oh I, I you know i'll tell you that was like expensive son but i don't think it's worth it children so anyway peanut cut, butter everybody cut to you saying it's worth it in the huh? video i did say that is it worth it 100 percent worth it yeah <laughs> well i think it's worth tasting it you know but really worth buying it mm, i don't think so well, how do you taste it without buying it well, that's a good point. <laughs> well, you know what? Yeah, yeah, you caught me right there. You know what I'm doing right now, eh? I'm doing this old school chef. Uh, this is like how they actually keep the sweat in their kitchen. Okay, okay, give me a little bit of thinking. If I have to do this, kind of make that a little bit different than normal. Use a mango, should I cook it? Make it raw, should I grill it, should I what? I mean, it's such a, oh, you know what? culturally came to me. I'm going to take you guys to Thailand. Are right, you ready? I'm ready. You know what you're making? I know exactly what I want to do. I'm going to take you guys through a journey. What I'm going to do right now, you know, this is a very, very cool technique actually. Hot water, you put this chicken, you kind of like swimming around, you know, the chicken is flying in the hot water. Quick blanching. You know why? What does this do? Well, just get rid of the first layer of skin so they can actually take the color. Right away, you dunk it in cold water. After you ran, pet dry, you just put it on a cutting board. Do a little chiropractic. Have you seen a chiropractor chicken? You know what I'm doing right now, eh, son? I'm actually deboning the wing of a chicken. So first bone coming out, come out. Feel it, there's no bone right now. They can't even stand up. Oh, poor chicken wing. A little bit of soy sauce. I'm just going to dab it. You know, there's a Chinese term of this kind of uh, style. They call them, you know, coloring with soy sauce. So I'm sick. I have some chicken breast meat. Now I'm going to cut it into a little dice. That's a lot of chicken meat. Got some fennel dust. And also I have some curry powder. You know this signature, right? Stir, stir, stir. Stir, stir, stir. Curry chicken, marinated chicken, deep bone chicken wing, two picks. Pick it up, open up. You make a hole, you know, just kind of squeeze it, use a thumb, make a bigger hole. Then after that, just stuff it. So you're stuffing chicken with chicken? Stuffing chicken with chicken. But you know what? You just really give me another idea. It doesn't have to be chicken. I mean, you can stuff like breakfast sausages. Oh, that'd be nice actually. Like pork. The good thing is make sure you stuff it very well. Put the chicken in. Make sure you got lots of chicken. You know, you know, I just this reminded me, you know, this secret ingredients, you know, that you're just throwing at me. It reminded me of like when I was a judge at Chop. You know, I remember there was one one kid 
He lived in Northern Ontario. And then he told me, oh, we used to hunt squirrel. We eat squirrel. I said, what? You do? Wow, that's like, that's very Canadian. Oh my God, like eating squirrels. But you know, people find it weird. But you know what? When you are in the wilderness, you know, you have so many things that normally people eat in the city. People don't. So don't judge, really. Skewering, skewering, skewering with this wing that I'm going to sew it back. When I was a kid, you know, if I'm not a chef, and I want to be a tailor. That was my second love. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Drop a little bit of oil. Do a little bit of smeared. So make sure the, the face of the skin uh, face up. 300. Chicken is slowly roasting, but I don't want it brown. I want it cooked. Coconut milk. Right now I'm reducing the coconut milk and I want to turn it into a fat. Now while you're stirring, make sure you don't uh, push it your spoon too hard and spit it in your, in your hand. Oil is separating between coconut milk and coconut. And now it turns into coconut oil. I have some ground, freshly ground, you can tell it's so coarse. Shellos, lemongrass, salinger, chilies, coconut milk. Now we're making it into a sauce. Now I'm turning it into a sauce. Now let it cook, bring the flavors out. I have tamarind, soak in water. Now I have palm sugar. Does it have to be palm sugar? It could be brown sugar. Palm sugar. Because it's palm, coconut, everything, right? Put some palm sugar in. I'll see the color change. Let me use this for Train. Oh, look at that. You can smell it, right? Like, come on, you can tell you can tell your fans what that smell is. What do you experience right now? Like that? Well, that's great. <laughs> that sounds really good. I am putting the mystery ingredient in one heap of peanut butter. You know, peanut essentially is like a bean, right? So when you cook peanut and beans, what do they do? They get soft. When they get soft, what do they do? They actually expand. What do they do when they expand? They get a little bit of gooeyness around the peanut in there. Now I still have to cook it down. Tamarind is sour. I also taste palm sugar is sweet. You know what is missing? You talked about it earlier, umami. You know what that umami is? Fish sauce. Sweet and sour and salty and umami. Everything is in here. Mm -hmm. Coriander. I have some. I'm going to chop some. This my Thai peanut sauce. Not only Thai. Phuket. Look at this. Chicken is done. You can feel that they suddenly increase the size because they've been puffing up because the meat is cooking. We're the grill now. Now I'm just going to skewer this. I'm going to grill some uh, red eye chili in Thailand and that's how they eat. Finally ingredient, got some ripe mangoes. Mm -hmm. I got some tahini. I just have a little dip. Perfect. So how do we eat this? Well, we just, yeah, dig it in just like a little popsicle, dip it into the peanut sauce. What, like that? More sauce, more sauce. Yeah, more sauce. A little bit more sauce. Mm, this is amazing. Like eating it with the mango, even. the chick I feel like chicken and mango are weirdly trying to go, kind of goes together. What do you think about that little touch of tahini? Go in the sauce, go in the sauce, yeah. I think this is one of your best dishes. I'm looking forward to the series. <laughs> <laughs> it means uh, every time you gotta top it up. Now this is the beginning of a simple one, right? Yeah. Right, son? I, have well, I knew that it. you would go kind of Thai, peanut, chicken. Well, you know what? Sometimes you're stuck with your, your gut feeling, right? Here, bite. Mmm. 9.9. .9. Just a little bit. What's 9.9 .9 a little bit more? 9.99? Oh, is that? Yeah, 9.99. What's, what's the point one? I feel like it's a 10. Oh yeah, why, why can't we rate it 10? Yeah, why even short the myself? Well, if you could right? change anything, what do you think? So? Oh, um, your face. <laughs> <laughs>